Hello and welcome to ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. If you're planning on upgrading your computer and find out that your computer only has one hard drive, don't sweat it. Because there is a way that you can clone your hard drive into a newer, faster, and better hard drive. First of all, you'll need to take your computer apart and be sure that everything it's been unplugged and without power for 15 minutes before you begin to take it apart. Then I'm going to show you exactly what to hook up and where. IDEs, it's better to use an adapter because the adapters when you're using IDEs can be a little bit faster because it's a clutter up inside of the computer when you're using these little fat cables because as you can see this one here has dual plugs it gets a little tangling when you're doing that plus they don't reach out as far as these cables do there's a difference so if your computer is using IDEs use the adapter and I show you in another previous video on how to do use these adapters. If you're using SATA, just hook it on the outside of the computer. And I'm going to show you how. Now, since you're, if this computer is a SATA drive, this technique is a lot faster because it's direct, wired directly into the motherboard. You just take your new SATA drive, like this one, plug it up, Use the power adapter if you got one from the adapter or you can use the power supply out of the computer. SATA drives do come with an adapter in case your current power supply don't have one. Just take the drive and just set it to the side right there making sure that nothing can touch it and it doesn't fall over. If you, want, if you got a smooth surface that you can lay it on, do so. Just be sure that another circuit board on it don't get touched it by anything. Next, take the the data cable and plug it into a port. And then start your computer up. The software that comes with it will help you clone the hard drive. And once, it's, once I finish it, I'll show you what needs to be done next. If you're using an IDE drive, such as this, use the adapter, as I've shown in the previous versions, of file transfers. And you, if, the, if the, device, the drive needs to have an external power source, be sure you plug that up too when using IDEs. Now that I have my hard drive hooked up, my computer booted, now all I gotta do is run the software that has come with my new hard drive. So here we go. This program, and there's a bunch of them on the internet, this one here came with my hard drive because I wanted to upgrade this computer. When the program starts, you can choose you can choose image backup and restore to where you can make a copy of your hard drive. You can create a bootable CD or uh, USB drive, anything that you can use. So in the event that your computer fails to boot, you can always use a backup bootable media. That way your computer can start. Disk utilities is what we're going to be using. This allows us to create a hard drive to install for data. But as you can see, this computer only has room for one. So we're going to clone it. This tells you exactly what it's going to do. It's going to clone the current hard drive that's in it into a new one. You want to follow these instructions to the letter. If you do not, it could go wrong and then you have to start over or you may prevent Windows from booting up. This is information about what it's going what the information about the drive is about 
the size, like gigabytes, terabytes, megabytes. And this is what it's going to do. You want to choose automatic. Automatic will automatically do everything on its own. You don't have no inter intervention whatsoever. The computer will automatically do all the adjustments necessary to clone your hard drive. This is the, ba the one that anybody should use. Choose next. This section here wants to know which drive is going to be the source or the old drive. As you can see here, this is the one highlighted. It's disk one. That is your bootable disk. That's what's making Windows work. So you want to make sure it's selected. This down here it shows you exactly how the drive is set up. Click next. Now you need to tell the computer the program where the cloning process is going to go. Here I've got disk two listed. This is a new drive that I'm going to use. As you can see, it's larger. The old one was only like a 320. This in here is a 400. So you can see it's bigger and this hard drive is even faster. Once you have your destination selected, in this case is disk 2, it shows you what it looks like. All you got to do next. Now this is a warning to tell you that there is files already on the drive. Most of the time it's the software that came with it. So what you want to do is delete the partition. Click next. This is what the results are going to look like. This is going to show you that your source drive looks like this. As you can notice, there are two partitions on the drive. This is a backup. This is my recovery. This is the main drive. As you can see, they're almost exactly a duplicate. My secondary part here is slightly bigger compared to this one. This is what the automatic function does. It makes an exact copy, but also rearranges the drive to correspond by ratio. Now you click Next. This is a list of the things that's going to be performed. Next, you want to click Proceed. Now this is a warning to let you know that when you're handling disk drives, use extra, extra caution. Click Reboot. Now it's going to lock the hard drive to prevent Windows from booting up. Now as you can see the program has begun. It's analyzing the partitions, it's locking them to prevent any access to them while it clones, and it's checking everything to make sure everything on the drives are in order and check out. This is the first process. It's going to copy my recovery partition. Depending on the size of the drives that you're copying or the partition, it may take over an hour, hour and a half to proceed. Especially if you use the USB adapter, which I'm going to show in the next process, in the next uh, way of doing it. Now, as you can see here, the program's finished. This is the message to let you know congratulations for using the program. Now this will also tell you what you must do to get the new drive to boot your computer up. And I will show you here in a minute. Once you read all this, press any key and it will shut your computer down so you can make the changes. Now, 
now that the computer, the, the hard drive has been cloned, now we need to do what the message says. Instead of drives, they're numbered from zero on up. So you have to locate the drives, the device zero or drive zero, which is this one right here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's the first drive or the first socket for the set of drives on the bottom left hand corner. They're usually a bl colored black. So all we need to do is unhook it. Now once you have your clone drive ready, you can remove your old drive that you see here and then you can replace it with your new one. Not, it's not hard. If you watch my installation for a new hard drive, it will demonstrate as to how you remove or add your hard drive. This is the same principle to use. Now, once you get your hard drive installed and your computer back together, all you next you have to do is hit the power button. And there you go. Now you have your very new hard drive installed and ready to go. Well, that is the end of this video. I hope everything was helpful. If you have any questions or ideas, just let us know and we'll look into it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have yourself a good night. Thank you.